Hey all you beautiful souls, welcome back to my channel. It is Monday, March 18th. It's another beautiful day in the Philippines. It's like 33 degrees today, Celsius. Definitely a hot one. Um, I just finished the gym and I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go kind of find a place to eat. I'm gonna, I heard of this place, it's a vegetarian place in uh, an area known as Burgos Circle. Um, that uh, is renowned for their smoothie bowls. Now, I'm not a vegetarian, but sometimes I just, you know, want some vegetarian food, healthy options. So I'm gonna walk that way, and I thought I'd take you with me. Um, but first of all, check, check out this view, that view behind me. Isn't that beautiful? This is why I love HDC. Everywhere you go, it's just a beautiful view. So nice. Anyways, yeah, let's walk that way. Um, so Burgos Circle is an area of um, uh, BGC that it's like, it's like a traffic circle, but it's now turning into like a like a restauranty place, nightlife kind of place, and um, it's kind of more hopping at night, but it's definitely lots to see at daytime as well. I'll do another video at nighttime so you can kind of see the difference, but. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I believe it's named after a, um, uh, one of their national heroes, a priest, Jose Burgos, who was um, martyred for um, being against the Spanish and trying to fight for Philippine independence. But um, it's also a, a section of that area uh, that uh, BGC is known as Forbes Town. Lots of, like, uh, it's a young crowd that kind of caters to that area. Lots of restaurants and bars, again, hopping mostly at night, but it's still nice to see it at daytime. So I'm just walking that way now, and I'll just kind of show you parts of uh, um, BGC when I'm walking that way. I'm kind of I'm walking past this uh, park here. It's called Track on 30th because it's like it has like a little like a little jogging track in the middle of it. You can see that behind me. Um, yeah, it's like people go here to exercise and go jogging in the morning. It's a nice little hopping area. Um, people exercise in here as well. Bring their kids and stuff like that. It's, it's a fun place to go. Track 30th. Um, BGC is kind of littered with uh, these little parks. And they're really cute. They have like art installations as well, which kind of makes it more attractive. But uh, yeah, here, let me just uh, show you. Here, this is the park here. Track 30th is the park name. You can kind of see like a, a, a track, race track, or like a jogging track in there. Why not? It's a cute little park. But yeah, let's go. Let's go for a walk to Burgos Circle. I'm gonna walk down. Um, I'm gonna walk down Bonifacio High Street for most of it, so you can kind of see what that's like as well, and then. Uh, We'll go from there. Let's, let's check it out. said yet how much I love the Philippines like seriously this is why I love coming here like I just walked past a four floor Uniqlo I don't know if you guys have Uniqlo where you are but uh, it's a good Japanese clothing store I love it uh, they have lots of good stuff there and it's affordable um, but where I'm from in Vancouver they only have like one floor Uniqlo it's very small but four floors that's crazy there's like so much shopping here so many places to go there's never Never a dull moment here. I am now walking down Bonifacio High Street um, from 7th Avenue to 5th. And 5th Avenue is kind of where, um, it's like one of the major intersections. They have like a two 3D billboards there and like the, the, the well-known Gentle Monster um, uh, store is there as well with the, like the you probably see it on, on Instagram or TikTok. You just got like this, like, like this giant, um, Art installation inside of it. Um, it's a sunglass store. 
But uh, yeah, as you can see, I see behind me there. This is, I'm walking down towards Fifth Avenue now. Um, there's like a little glass walkway here. I'm gonna see if I can get up there and get a, a view of uh, High Street from up there. Let's see if I can get up there. There's lots of restaurants. This is really open area here. Lots of restaurants and stuff around here. And music, as you can hear, and trying to talk over it because it's kind of loud. Okay. So Bonifacio High Street, I think I mentioned before in my other videos, it kind of spans the, um, the um, length of BGC and there's like a pedestrian street, shopping, food, you name it, all along there. And it's only, oh yeah, so okay, I can go there. I'm gonna go along the pedestrian walkway here and get a shot of Bonifacio High Street. Wow, it's a big pedestrian walkway. I didn't even knew this existed. Okay, I'm gonna turn it around for you guys to see. Look at that view. Oh, I love this place. So this is facing one way up High Street. I don't know the directions here. I apologize. I don't know what in my bearings yet. I don't know if this is north or south or whatever. Um, so that's that's one direction. That's why I just I just came from that seventh over there. I just came from there. This is the this is the walkway, and then down here is towards Fifth. Um, there's a mall in there, in the Century Plaza, I think it's called. It's like a Shake Shack in there and a bunch of other restaurants and theaters and you name it. But yeah, so this is an area people come to just kind of lounge here. It's shaded, got all the trees here so it's, you can get get your lunch or get a coffee or whatever and just kind of sit out here and people watch. It's beautiful. Beautiful area. Okay. Yeah, anyways, so let's keep going down. Let's, let's go down back down to... Um, down to the street level and walk along there a little bit. Okay, so we're back down on the street level here again and we're walking towards uh, Fifth Avenue, I believe it's called. I always get the avenues and streets mixed up. I think the higher numbers are the streets and the lower numbers are the avenues. And they also have lanes and that kind of stuff. Kind of those are linked to it. We just, uh, this is the entrance to Century Plaza Mall. And then this, I like this, uh, there's a couple of art installations here. So here we are now at the 5th Avenue and High Street intersections. So there you have one of the 3D monitors. It's much better to come at night time. You can see it a lot better than during the day. There's that one and there's one at the kitty corner right there in the Central Plaza. Across the street over there is where the gentle monster story is. You can see the, the uh, thing of something about inside there. The, the uh, mannequin or the art installation. Or and then we're going to cross the street.
another mall over here, one Bonifacio. Really good food court in there. And if you go into that uh, mall and you go downstairs to the very bottom level, it's the basement level, that has like a really unique uh, food court down there. So definitely try it out if you come to the BGC. So we're reaching the end of High Street and then at the end of High Street you get right into the Mind Museum which is like a, like a science, I guess a science or like a yeah, science and tech kind of museum. Just uh, tame wild cats who just kind of do their own thing, but they actually have a, com a community association that provides food for them, so they're taken care of. Wolfgang steak oh, they, have, they have these around BGC and I think there are other parts of uh, uh, Metro Manila as well. Um, they're like a higher end steakhouse, steak restaurant. Here's like another art, art installation of, uh, out of a soldier. Sitting and reading a note. Tribute to the Filipino soldier. I think these are or something, the names of battles, I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so this is the mine museum. We're just going to walk through this to get to Virgo Circle. getting into the start of Virgo Circle in Forbes Town. Very colorful. Look the, at the buildings are so colorful. Let the cars go through here first. Lots of, lots of con high-rise condos here too. places a place we have to check, check I definitely check out at some point but again this place is more hopping at night it's kind of quiet in the day pancake house so I'm just gonna walk around uh, Shackles on the other side, I can see it. I'm just going to walk around Virgo Circle so you can get an idea of what it looks like. It's really nice. And it's all lit up at night time. Okay. 
It's got some kind of a, like a bird's nest looking thing in the middle of it. Some art installation. Residences here. places to stay here. Um, a few of the condos I was looking at were in this area, the Bellagio, which is I'm walking up to. I was looking at a place in that one as well. But I opted for Uptown, because where I'm staying now is kind of in the middle of uh, BGC, so it's easy to get around to different areas. This part of uh, BGC is kind of to the, to the side of, uh, of the city. Shangri-La, that's the Shangri-La Tower there. Not sure what that other one next to it is. This one here is the Bellagio I was just telling you about. Ah, Tim Hortons. Fellow Canadians, you know that name well. They have quite a, they have a few of them here in BGC. UCC is like a Japanese coffee um, brand. They're around, lots of them around BGC as well. And here we are, we're at Shaka. Let's get some food. Okay, so I just finished having lunch at Shaka. It was delicious. I had the, um, the peanut butter and um, salted caramel smoothie bowl. Two of my favorite things in one, in one bowl. So yeah, I'm just, uh, oh, and it, it was, the staff were so friendly, so helpful. It was, it was great. Definitely recommend Shaka if you have the chance to. There's several locations. I'm, this is the Burgos Circle, but there's other locations around um, uh, Manila and the Philippines you can visit as well. So I'm in the center, this is um, Virgo's Circle, I'm in the center of it now. And this is that uh, monument thing I was telling you about, this, the uh, art installation. And you can see the traffic circle is just kind of around me, behind me there. It just kind of goes around in a circle. So that is Virgo's Circle. By the way, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, um, let me know in the comments. Also, um, I didn't do a lot of speaking in the restaurant. I just kind of showed what I was getting. Um, I'm, I try not to talk too much around when people are, you know, in closed, in, in um, confined spaces like restaurants and stuff. Uh, I just, I haven't gotten to that stage yet. And also I kind of feel like I don't want to, you know, intrude people's space. Um, so let me, what do, you, what, do you, what do you guys think about that as well? Bloggers that uh, talk um, in, you know, coffee shops and in restaurants and that kind of stuff. Let me know in the comments if you find that, uh, if you think that's cool or if you find it kind of irritating. Let me know what you think. Anyways, I'm going to go and do a quick uh, walkthrough of Forbes Town, which is the it's like behind me there, just like the like street that kind of has a bunch of restaurants and bars and that kind of stuff. Before I wrap up this vlog, just to give you an idea of what Forbes Town looks like. Again, quiet during the day, it gets busier at night. Um, people that live in the condos here say that it's very noisy at nighttime, and um, yeah, so that's. Uh, one thing to consider if you're going to stay here, it, it does get noisy at nighttime. If you're going to get a condo here, an Airbnb, if you're going to visit WTC, it does get uh, a little bit noisy in, in the evening. So I'll, I'll walk down uh, this, this street here and show you a bit of that, and then I'll, I'll wrap the everything up. It's a 
cool name of the restaurant, Dogs in the City. <laughs> oh, that's a pet store. Never mind. I thought it was a restaurant. There's a really popular restaurant um, here. There's actually two locations. There's one here and there's one in, in Poblacion in Makati uh, called, called Dr. Wine. Very, very good restaurants, great, great drinks, great food. But I do prefer the Poblacion location because it has a rooftop patio and I love rooftop patios. And the, and the views from the one in, in um, Poblacion are just amazing. Another beautiful view. She's full of them. this way. hope I don't get dinged by copyright uh, violation because there's lots of music playing around me here and I'm trying to speak over it but it's kind of hard to... <laughs> uh, um, yeah, kind of hard to um, drown it out in the background. Uh, I'm going to cross the street the other side. Thank you, sir. Yeah, here's Dr. Wine here. This is the uh, this is the um, Forbes Town location. seen a few of these uh, tipsy pigs as well around BGC. Look at this. Nice, nice uh, courtyard. Mega World Forbes Town. I have a couple of uh, nice little food trucks here. Ruby sticky rice. If you haven't tried ruby sticky rice, definitely try it. It is to die for. So good. And so bad at the same time. Okay, so let's go through here. Another cafe here. other side, other street of uh, Forbes Town here. This was a bit busier. So it's not as pedestrian friendly as the street I was just on. And it's like a little market across the street there. A little open area. Crammed in between high rises. But yeah, that's basically it for Virgo Circle and Forbes Downline. I'm going to wrap up the, uh, the vlog here. Um, let me know what you think in the, um, in the comments. Um, if you do like this video and you like my content, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to stay informed of more videos that are coming down the pipe. Um, but for that, for now, we'll just call it a day here. I'm going to head um, back to my place and... Uh, We'll see you in the next video. See you later.